for some real ass blanks. Oh. Hmm. Huh, yeah, very strange. Think about the money. Alrighty, so we just rolled up on scene to this uh, apparent movie. Let's see what it's about. Hey, buddy. What's up? What, what's what's up with the cop? With the cop? Hey, uh, did you know that? I I didn't. What's this guy doing? I didn't, didn't even know there was a cop behind me. You uh, you guys are driving, or you actually, my friend, are driving a vehicle that is uh, supposed to be green. Yeah, I just got painted. My buddy you... just painted it. And you didn't uh, think to get that registered with uh, DMV? He literally just painted it last night. And hey, hey officer. Okay, so first thing wow, this to... guy is really busting nuts out here, huh? That would be uh, to go and get that painted, correct? Before it hits the road. Look, buddy. It's my friend's car. I'm borrowing it because my car is in the shop. I literally came down here to see if I could be part of a movie, and you're gonna come down here and act like I'm fucking hey, officer, killing people over here. Well, I'm just letting you know that you need to get that changed. It's not my car. Literally, I didn't even know the car was painted until I picked it up. Yeah, I can give him a call if you want. Yeah, if you want to give him a call and uh, let me talk to him so I can verify that it's actually his car. Yeah, Jesus Christ, let me grab my fucking phone. Okay, uh, how about can I ask you a question? Don't make any fast moves. How about you just, uh, yeah, or not. There? I'm grabbing my goddamn phone. I have not committed a fucking right. crime. Get off my dick. Just let me watch you. So what you boys up to? Uh, I'm just here because multiple vehicles, not really sure what's going on. Yeah, uh, trying to get a movie scene in for a movie we're filming. Uh, trying to, you know, hire some people for some stunts and all that. Basically, this guy's car, I'll just let him know that, uh, the car is supposed to be green, I guess, and that was just painted last night. They failed to register with TV. The guy said it's his friend's car, so I'm making sure it's not stolen now. All I'll do is just pull him over to uh, let him know that this needs to be changed. Alright. Yeah. Hey, Joey. Yeah, just yeah. Change. yeah, so some some cops harassing me because your car is not yeah, the color it's supposed to be or, or some bullshit. Do you want to you wanna talk to him real quick? Whatever it is. Alright. Here he is. I would like to ask him a question. Hey, this is Joey. Yeah, I let him borrow it this morning. He uh, came by on his bike. He said, "Hey, man, car's in the shop. There's some movie shoot going on. Can uh, can I borrow the car?" And I said, "Yeah, man. Uh, just painted the car though. I I got to get it registered with the DMV. I'll have to do it later today when you get back." And so that's what's going on. Now it would have been reported stolen if that was the case, now wouldn't it? Alright, there's your phone. Uh, you should be good to go. Just uh, please get that registered as a white Gallivanter. Alright, Joey, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later, man. Alright, where's this guy at? They want to ask me a question. Uh, I think he's over there. Is running everyone's plate. As he goes down the road, every Crazy. single car apparently, but uh, I don't know what's going on. Alright, so what's that question you need to ask me? Oh, I just wanted to know if you guys uh, were, you know, on a scene or, uh, what, as you call it, like traffic stop on with this man, like uh, earlier today or, you know, yesterday or something. Possibly a lot 
Oh, well, I was just wondering if you run every sing the plate of every single car on the road. Every single car. That's up to my discretion, isn't it? Well, I'm just wondering. Alright, alright. Just, uh, yeah. Keep it legal. Keep the speed good, and, uh... This man wasn't even driving! <laughs> you're telling, you're telling him... Well, the guy, well, I'm just saying, the guy in the red, he was... He's driving a vehicle that's not uh, registered correctly, so... I thought I'd pull the motor for but you boys have a wonderful day. And shoot your movie, and do whatever you need to do. Jesus Christ. Can I, uh, help you? Oh, right, my gosh. Right. sorry, so sorry about interested that. Interested in the movie, correct? Yes, uh, yes, sir, I am. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, yeah. Alright, um, so do you guys have any, you know, like health issues or anything? Uh, no. No, no, no I'm good. Alright, do you guys have any past experience with, uh, the military or other physical activities um you know all that yeah yeah physical activities yeah i'm good at that i've uh i've been in the military all right well uh nice to meet you guys my name is jack woodlong i am the director of this movie which i will release the name to you guys after we do it, um, but, uh, so there, there's two roles, um, obviously there's two of you, and it all depends, one is the role of the good guy, and one of the, is the role of the bad guy, uh, one of which will be driving a car, uh, dangerously, but, you know, allowed to be doing it, um, I'm going to notify the police about it before we get going, but, uh, you will have to be good at driving for that, and the other one will be going up in the heli with me. So you guys can figure out who wants to do what between yourselves. Uh, I guess I could roll the bad guy. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll be the good guy. Yeah, good or bad doesn't necessarily matter. It's based off roles. Um, which one of you has more experience with driving, and what, which one is okay with being in a helicopter? I'm pretty good at driving, I would say. How about you in the green? Uh, what? Do you have any past experience, you know, racing or any, doing any professional driving of some sort? Off-roading? Uh, I haven't done off-roading, but I, uh, I, uh, was in NASCAR for a little bit until an accident. That wouldn't necessarily help in this case. Um, I'm just going to give it to you. Who wants to drive and who wants to be in the helicopter? You guys can decide that among yourself. Do you want to fly? No. Uh, he won't be flying. Sure. I'm going to be the one flying. I'm the pilot and director. He's just going to be in the helicopter. Whether okay. I guess I'll, uh, I'll drive. Alright, so this is... Um, I'm going to kind of brief you guys before it all happens, but uh, it's, it's going to be an action scene. Um, basically, the guy driving, which is going to be you in the red, correct? Yes, sir. Alright, well, that black armored vehicle down there that I have, you'll be driving that vehicle. It's a lot okay. like yours, but, you know, armored to the max, and it's got a lot of engine upgrades, fully custom, and we have two more on standby in case you wreck it. So if you wreck it, perfectly fine as long as you're not injured, alright? All right. Yeah. Um. So, I'll get to exactly what you're going to be doing. Um. Sir, in the green, are you okay with being in, on the side of this helicopter here behind me? Um. Yeah. Do you I'll have any experience handling weapons? Uh. Yeah, I do. All right. Well, today we're going to be using a weapon. Uh. Mainly the guy in the green. It's going to be an AK-style weapon without a stock, um, no ammo, it's going to be firing blanks, but from the helicopter you will be firing at the man that is driving the armored vehicle. 
I will get further into layout based off of how the police answer about this whole movie scene thing here. But basically, the guy who's driving the vehicle, you're going to come down this hill. It's going to be a very short scene. You're going to come down this hill that we're on now, cross the highway at a pretty high rate of speed. Um, which at the end of the time between your crossing the highway and you were going to go through that fence over there onto the beach from there and do a jump scene. And in that amount of time from when he hits the highway to the time you hit the beach, the guy in the green will be firing oh, one, f so one full magazine fr uh, from the AK. It will all be blanks, but he will be firing one full magazine from there. And then we will relocate and then eventually going northwest on the beach, we will parallel you and then he will fire one more full mag of blanks. All right. at your vehicle um, so are both of you fine with that we can get more in detail after we at least I talk to the cops yeah sounds good uh yeah I'm fine with that sounds great alright um if I could actually have one of you take me to the police station because this vehicle is unfortunately unregistered and I've already gotten in trouble for having it on the road once that would be uh, great. Oh, actually, yeah, let me talk about money. Money, um, your base pay for this job will be probably around 60k, and then it will, it, will, uh, it will differ and go up and down based off of how you both do. Okay, right on. Is that, is that fine with you guys? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, I guess let's get going here. If one of you want to volunteer to take me, the other one can come, or you can, you know, stay here and, you know... Well, you can, uh, take my buddies, if you want, so we can all go. Alright, let's all go ahead down to the PD. He's... Actually, let me put a note in the windshield of my car real quick, just stating that we will be back very soon. In case, you know, the cops get frisky, because they always do that. Toledo Bay Police Station, good sir. Alrighty. Alrighty, you guys can either stay out here or come inside, your choice. I'll start off with my name first of all. I'm Jack Woodlong, director and movie producer. Um, so we're. I just wanted to come and talk to you and just uh, make sure it's okay with you guys. Um, it's going to be over on Great Ocean Highway, near like in between 900 and 904 area, where we're going to try and film a, a scene for a movie. It's going to be an action scene. Um, and. Uh, we are actually going to... It, it shouldn't take long. Uh, we only need to film it over once or twice to get it good. Um, hoping that everything goes all according to plan. But in the scene, we do have to cross a highway. During the scene, all while this uh, the main character is getting shot at um, from a helicopter with blanks, of course. They're not actual bullets. Um but we oh, just okay. we're gonna have to block off roads and all that and I just wanted to come obviously to you guys to make sure that's okay and all that 
Um, yeah, well, I guess we'll block off the roads for you. Is that what you're asking? Or did you say you'd block them off? Uh, we can block them off. Um, I mean, if you guys would like to help out, that would be amazing. But uh, we can definitely work that out. Okay, yeah, give me a second here. See if I can get a unit to help me out with that. All right. All right, so we are getting. I just don't want to take up too much of right your time because who knows how long it could take. It might take us an hour or two. And, you know, you All guys right. got other stuff to do sometimes. Uh, it's kind of a slow night. Let me see what I can do. All right, man. Um, you said 909? It's uh, it's in between 900 and 904 on Day Highway. Uh, if you go down that road, you should see two cars um, parked on the side in a helicopter up by the railroad tracks. Okay. All right. All right. All right. But yeah, this movie once it comes out should uh, get a lot of pay, a lot of money. When are you guys getting started? Uh, after we head down there, we're going to go over how they were going to do it uh, again. Just get a little briefing in there, and then we're going to start doing takes. Alright. Hang on, a lot of radio traffic. Give me a second. Alright. Another couple seconds later. All right. Cool, man. We'll meet you guys up there. All right. Hopefully we make it there. Uh, his car is kind of running funky. All right. All right, guys. I'll, uh, I'll head over. I have a quick question you. for you, officer. Oh. Excuse me, officer. Oh. You're, yeah. Uh, so yeah. I, I've noticed you guys have a new trooper running around. Uh, uh, yeah, that guy. And I was curious Andreas, Highway Patrol. to what the hell his problem is. What do you mean? Like, I, I feel like I'm not the only one he makes extremely uncomfortable. Oh, no, yeah, I saw him... He pulled me over last night, actually, for driving one of our vehicles that isn't registered. That's, uh, you know, one of our testing vehicles for the movie. And I was just, you know, driving, doing the speed limit and all that. And he, in front of me, about 20 meters out, he sped through a stop sign, no lights or anything, about 20 miles per hour, almost got into a wreck, ignored it, and then did a, a complete U-turn in the middle of the road, cutting another person off just to pull me over. And he said the reason for pulling me over was because window tint and my re and uh, I my registration or whatever I didn't have a registration, which I don't think that's a reason to pull me over because how would you have from my plate? I don't know. Well, it's confusing. Do you have to know his badge number or anything like that? I think his name's Officer Tyler, something. Yeah, that's what okay. I heard. Uh, when I was on the traffic stop, I didn't get a badge number or anything like that. Probably should have. Didn't think of it at the time. It was pretty late. Okay, I'll uh, I'll be sure to pass it on to a superior. 
<laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate it. No worries. Are you are you as well part of their group? Yeah, 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 I am. Okay, all three That's, of you. Those three are going to okay. be the only ones filming. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I got a unit heading that way. I'm going to get over there. Give you guys a hand. All right, let's go make some money, guys. Mainly you guys. Let me see if I can figure out what's going on under the hood real quick. Alright, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Time is money. Oh yeah, it's... Damn radiator hoses popping off and everything. Spark tubes exploding. No, not really exploding, but don't worry, I got it. Indeed we are. Her. Yep. Oh. Jesus fucking hell. That was crazy. Oh, but uh, hopefully we don't have to admit, take uh, too many shots of this. I just wanted to, you know, let the PD know since we were going to be flying a helicopter extremely low, be blocking off a road, speeding through the road, and then shooting blanks out of an automatic rifle. But uh, yeah, if all, if all goes planned, we have, um, I set up the previous day a certain cameras that are roughly hidden since this movie is um, actually designated by the author. It's based off of a book. Um, but it was designated no actual camera crew. Uh, so we have hidden cameras, so the viewers don't see them in all the places we need them, and we're also going to be recording from the helicopter along with shooting from it. So that should be fun. You guys got this yeah, all this planned out. That's pretty awesome. Right on, man. Sounds good. Please, sir. Looks like your car's not there for some reason. Mine too, but either thing. Alrighty guys, we're going to be driving this for the movie scene, it's going to be pretty cool. Alright, um, so I'm going to brief you guys actually before the police so we don't take up too much over there. Alright, so, so we're going to go get on. set up. Alright. In the meantime, we'll have a quick smoke until we're ready to go. We're going to do this all in first person, just to make it that much better. Let's see here, I have my cigarette.
Alright, so if I could just have you in the vehicle adjusted about 25, 35 feet to the right of where you are now. Try and come off at an angle. And do you see that space uh, in between the pole, the tree, behind the highway, behind that fence? There's like a little tree on the left and that uh, tall one on the right, but not the cluster of the trees. Uh, uh, what? In the red. Uh, I think so. Straight ahead, there's like, uh, there's a little tree behind this tree right in front of us, and then there's a kind of medium one, those two. Oh, yeah, I see what you're talking about. There's a the large one and trying to go right in between one. there should be a clear shot all the way down to the beach. Um, but yeah, try and position yourself a good 35 feet back there, and we'll start getting set up. Uh, once we get helicopter, uh, I'll get that. I'll get you in a second. Um, the guy in the vehicle. Once we are in the helicopter, you will see us. We will be about in between that tree and that wire pole, and we will be solid right right above their mid level. And we will be hovering. And after we're hovering in in place for say 20 seconds, that that will give you the go ahead. And we're hovering in place, and we do not move. All right. All right, sounds good. All right. And if you crash the car, make sure it's o it's it's all okay unless you get injured. Uh, what's... All right, so uh, gonna be waiting for them to hover. We're gonna launch this bitch, and uh, yeah. These are some real ass blanks! I do not think those were blanks. Uh, blanks. Those were some real ass blanks. Are you okay? Uh, yes, they were. Those were uh, some extremely real blanks you have there. Oh yeah, they're they're meant to look really real. We have um ref reflective lights and all that set up on the car. Um, there will be a little bit more editing going in as we do it. I'm going to go ahead and tell the cops that they can open the road um, for a little bit while we review the footage, review the car, make sure it's all good, and we're going to do one more round if that's okay with you guys. Yeah, that's fine. They, uh, they sure, uh, for being blanks, they sure did leave some damage on the windshield here. Yeah. All right, um... So you guys actually, um, if you want to work with me, you guys can open the road up, you know, to keep it open for a bit, um, for roughly like 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes while we review the footage and review the car, and we're going to do one more run after that. So you guys can open the road up for a little bit if you'd like. Alright, you're going to do one more? Uh, yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna take a little break and review the, yeah, that footage and that. review the car, make sure it's all good to go again. So it won't be for another 15 minutes if you guys want to let the cars through. All right, yeah, I'll talk to my buddy down there and see what he wants to do. If he wants to just keep it closed, or all right.
Oh, no, yeah. If you couldn't tell, um, we have certain parts of the paint that we chipped off purposely to make it look like bullets hit, and we oh, have yeah. them. They were all attached purposely. to string, actually, over here in the ground. So when you got to a certain point down the hill and he started shooting at you, they would fly off. Wow. Yeah, very very new technology and stuff. Yeah. More effort yeah. that they paint, put into paint, this movie. Paint the tied strings, wants strings, that's some strings new technology, things. all right. Yeah. Not necessarily technology, but the wacky stuff this author wants us to do. But we're doing it for him because... And what, you know, what about the... the the cracks in the windshield from the bullets hitting. They, uh, they should have been there before you started driving. If they you uh, definitely were not. Oh. Hmm. Huh, yeah. Very strange. Think about the money. Is your car all good? Yeah, it's fine. It's not. Are you gonna? You know? Can uh, we? Can we sweeten this deal? Since I'm uh, since I'm thinking about the money here. Let me get this car when we're done. It's gonna be shot to you pieces anyways. Yeah, it's gonna be shot to pieces anyways. Um, unfortunately, I, I can't do that since it is an armored vehicle. If it wasn't armored, I would totally let you do that. But uh, I can raise the money if you would like. Uh. Since you're doing all these stunts, you guys, I was saying the base was 60, but I probably will raise it. Alright, we'll see. I, I thought these guys were going to open the roads up while we do this, and I guess I'm... But I guess not. I'm going to go review the footage we got from the heli right now. The footage looks pretty good. Um, we're going to go ahead and do uh, one more round if that's fine with you guys. Uh, Alright, sounds good. See that tow truck over there? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that was. We're gonna ignore it. It's not our problem. If anything, it's the cops' problem. But, uh, we'll run it down... Did, by chance, coming down this end of the hill on the other side of the highway, did you hit a rock or something at the end, at the bottom? Yeah, I hit a rock on the bottom. Alright. Maybe this time you can try and avoid it, just for, you know... Yeah, since I... Fluency, I guess. ...know where it is now. Alright, uh, well, we'll go ahead and run that over again. This time, I'm gonna do it in a third person view. So I get two different angles here. We've actually got a tow truck down there. Oh, no, he's back up. I don't know what he's doing, but if he... He, he was down there right where... Um, the guy in the car would have landed. I could have killed him. So... I don't know what he's doing, but... I guess since he's not down there, we'll go.
Where's the heli? Where's the heli? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just glad there's a harness in there. Oh yeah, saw so you took a tumble or two. Oh yeah. Very nice work. Very nice work, though, guys. Good shooting. That, uh, that uh, was pretty nice there at the end, shooting out the tires. Tires shouldn't have been shot out. They... Thought they were bulletproof. Nope. As you can uh, see, they are definitely gone. Well, I will talk to I will talk to our mechanic um, for the next scenes we do for the movie. But uh, on the other hand, let's get these cops out of here. Let's get the road back up, and let's get you guys paid. All right. Actually, I t I'll take that gun from you. Alrighty, officer, that was the last shot. Alright, man, sounds good. Alright, thank you so much for your help. Anytime, anytime. Yeah. Right on, right on. That was some good uh, movie shots there. Do you have the cops cleaning up the roads over there? Yep. Thank you, sir. Alright. Let me put it in the car real quick. Do you know that tow truck driver? Did you have him come out for the... Are you having him come out for this, or...? No, but I might have to, knowing that the wheels popped and they shouldn't have. Right. Everything go well? Yeah. Yep. Un everyone's uninjured. We're all good. Excellent. Did you guys ever get a there? permit or anything? Yes, sir. Sweet. If you want all, the, if you want all the documents no, no. and permits and all nope. that. I don't even all want right. any of that. I'll just make sure you guys had it, you know, just in case I get asked. No, yeah, but, uh, we have everything from the yeah. state. That was pretty badass to see up front, you know, in, you know, in first person. Right on. Well, I'm gonna... I actually don't have the money on me, but uh, once we go to the bank, I got a loan from the, uh, the producers and everyone from the movie. I'll go ahead and get these two gentlemen paid. Excellent. You all have a great day. You too. Okay. Let me actually call a tow for this vehicle real quick, and then if you guys want to, whoever, take me down to the bank and I can get you guys money. All right. See the fucking lights on siren, motherfucker? God damn it. There it is. <laughs> Man, locals are crazy. Yep, nice shooting and nice driving, though. Appreciate it. You guys did very well.
What's this guy want? Lights on too. Oh, oh, come on. I swear to God. What is, what is he doing? What the fuck are you doing? That man was a skinhead. Well, I'll wait for Toe here. Just tell him that they, he can take him to the impound lot and it's pretty much theirs if they want to salvage it. Oh, well, here's the tow truck. There's the tow truck. You might want to move your vehicle. <laughs> How's it going? Hello, sir. It's gone. It's uh, it's gonna be the black car back here. It's got two pop tires on the rear. Ignore the, what looks to be bullet fire. We were just filming a scene for a movie with it. Um, but it, it's pretty much trashed. Can't be taken on the road. It's got flat tires. Can't even be driven really. Um, and it's we don't even need it anymore. So if you guys want to take it to your salvage yard or whatever, and you know take parts and all that from it, that's completely fine by me. All right, dude. I appreciate it. I'll go ahead and uh, get I, this. I got, I, I'll go ahead and get it hooked up. Yeah, I gotta run to the bank, um, and pay these gentlemen. So I can I can pay you up front right here if you want. Are you talking to me? Yes, sir. Oh, I apologize. Alright, dude, go, that's appreciated. That's very generous, man. Yeah, keep the change. Alright, all right, you guys have go. a good one, alright? Yep, you too. I'm, I'm looking forward to watching your movie. Thank you. I just go head first in the traffic, and if, I, if I'm lucky, I'm gonna get hit by a car. Alright. If you guys could take me to the bank. Alrighty, so we are on our way. Wonderful place for you to go. To the bank you know, now. Really not getting paid. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll definitely bump up your guys' your guys's pay for that. Hopefully it doesn't seem too sketchy, a car like this going to a bank, fully blacked out windows, yeah that could look bad. We don't need to worry about that. Let's hope it doesn't though. We got this. At least it's not a Cadillac. True. And if someone calls us in or, you know, the cops do get us, we, we always got two cops that just witnessed us in a car film a movie and all that and they know what we're doing. So shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Oh. Appreciate it if you close your door next time. Sorry about that. It's okay. Hey, where are you boys at? Oh, you're gonna get you your money. Alright, sir, so in the green. There you go, good sir. And there you go, good sir. Alrighty, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you boys for filming with me today. I want, I want to just say again, great job. Appreciate it. I've got a ride from here.
Alrighty, everyone. Well, this is going to be it. Tune in next time to see uh, what we can get into. This is Dab Dab Gaming on BSG.